Hello YouTube, my name is Mel from Mel's Paper Mix. I'm a 24 year old cash stuffer and budgeter here on YouTube. And today I wanted to go over my budget for attending my friend's wedding. So I'm going to be a bridesmaid for this wedding. I will have to fly for it. And I just wanted to go over my budget so that if people are planning their budget for this type of trip, they kind of have a resource because these are the types of videos that I used when I was starting to put together my budget. I put this budget together probably a year and a half ago and I started funding it a year and a half ago as well, but I just wanted to share this now so that y'all can have some numbers. But a little bit of background around me, again, I am 24 years old. I'm an engineer by trade. I have been cash stuffing for around two and a half years now, and I'm doing cash stuffing systems so that I can meet my financial goals and build strong financial habits. So if you are a cash stuffing channel or a budgeter as well, please leave me a comment down below so that I can check out your channel and hopefully others can check out your channel as well. And if this is something you're interested in, please subscribe and consider checking out my other videos. So this is a format that I, that I have not done before uh, where I am sitting by my computer. Um, I'm sure the audio is not the best, but if you have any uh, suggestions on how I set this up, please let me know. If you like this, let me know. If you hate this, let me know so that I can make this type of better in the future. I kind of like this format right now um, just because it can calculate everything for me. I set up this Excel sheet with the inspiration from Kristen from Intentional Living and I kind of just took it and made it my own. So for my friend's wedding, this is going to be happening at the end of August. I'm actually going to leave for this very soon. But the categories that I chose are dress and accessories, Transportation, which is basically my flight because I will have to fly for this. Housing, which is going to be the Airbnb. The gift. Events like a bridal, um, a bridal event. Beauty appointments because I thought I initially was going to do like hair and makeup there. I have since decided to do that by myself. So this kind of changed into any beauty things, any nail things, um, anything of that sort. Uh, is going to be captured in that category. Food and drinks for the wedding. I believe I'm going to be fed during this whole weekend, but I just wanted to put this in here just in case. And then any miscellaneous, any purchases that are not captured in these categories, hopefully gets captured here. So those are my categories. The budget is how much I budgeted for that category. Date is when I want this category to be fully funded by. I kind of use this to prioritize what categories get fully funded first. Cost is going to be how much I actually spent. So I will be doing an update video on this to go over how much everything actually cost and then the difference between the cost and budget. My status is if I have purchased it, if I'm waiting to do something, um, or just blank because some things will like I can't purchase um, before the actual trip. And then if a category is going to be a shared expense, um, because I am going to be going to this wedding with my boyfriend. Um, so for the gift, that's going to be the only thing that we are going to share. But everything else is going to be just a budget for me. So it'll break down the budget per person, cost per person, and the difference. And then I have a spot for my notes. So let me just copy this over. Um, we can go ahead and get started. So the dates I'm going to keep private, but the duration of this, we have, we have four days here. Four days and the number of people this budget um, pertains to is one person but whenever I have something shared it will pertain to two people this Excel or this Google Sheet will take into factor all of that for me so for the budget of my dress and accessories I'm gonna do 200 I did 250 and the reason is my uh, friend gave us the website for it. And I was kind of looking around and dresses were around 
um, $100 to $120. So I took $100 for the dress. And then I was like, okay, I need to get it tailored as well. So I estimated around $50 or $60 for that. And then if I needed shoes, if I needed jewelry, if I needed anything else, um, it would be going into, it, it would total up to 250 For transportation, it is going to be 300 And how I got to that number is I looked on airline websites. And specifically for me, uh, I have points with Delta. So I looked at how much would a ticket cost if I were to combine points and um, if I were to combine points and cash, how much would that be? And it was around two hundred and fifty ish dollars. It fluctuated up and down because I would look at this like three months out before I had before the actual wedding, um, like five months out, six months out, as early as a year out. Um, so I just estimated $300 for my actual flight. But this is accounting some airline points as well. For the housing, Airbnb, I will have to pay for my portion in the Airbnb. And my portion is 200 For the gift, in total, I wanted to do 100 For events, this is any, like I said, any like bridesmaid stuff. If we want to share decorations or get shirts, I just estimated 150 for that. Beauty appointments, I did the same. I believe I did 150 as well. Let me just double check. Yes, for beauty appointments, this was also 150. I got that number by rough estimations from the bride um, themselves. They said, hair is going to cost this much. Makeup is going to cost this much. I always plan to do my own nails. So 150 was the estimated amount. And then food and drinks, I did 150 as well, just for those four days. Um, because for those four days, I was kind of thinking like, oh, maybe I'll need like um, 20, $25 a day because I am going to get fed. Um, I'm going to get fed for this, but I was like $20 a day just in case I will not get fed. So 150 there, well, 20 times four is only, um, 25 times four is only 100, but I wanted to increase it just in case because I wanted to have buffer in all of my categories. Um, it's, for me and my methodology, it's more of, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So I had a lot of buffer in these categories. And then finally, for miscellaneous, to keep with the trend, I have 150. So in total, for my friend's wedding that I'm going to be a bridesmaid for and that I will have to travel for, it was $1,450. So in total, that's what it was. I could have put more money into a lot of things, but I, am, I still have my car debt. I still have my student loans. I still have a lot of things that my money needs to go towards. But this is also something that I want to do and I want to prioritize. So I have to be smart with how much goes into this actual trip. So when it comes to the dates needed for my dress and accessories, I kind of needed this as soon as possible. I needed to fund this as soon as possible so that I can get my dress and so that I can get it tailored. I wanted to have a lot of time for this. So this was the first category that I fully funded. And then I think I fund... I started this um, probably at the beginning of 2024. So by 2024, um, I wanted the housing money to be uh, fully funded in February. Then for transportation, I was like, okay, I don't, I po probably won't need it um, until probably the beginning or the middle of summer. Um, or probably the very beginning of summer, uh, just so that I can get a good price on it. So for transfer for the flight there, I wanted this by May. For gift, this could be a little later in the summer. So this was, I didn't want to do this until July. And then the same for events, because there might be some things that can be prepaid. 
but not everything. So, actually, I had this in May. Beauty appointments was not until July because I didn't, if I were to do it, um, if I were to pay for these appointments, it would be during the actual wedding. So I didn't need it until July. And then for food and drinks and miscellaneous, those were things that I couldn't do any prepaid expenses for. So I could wait until August. So like I said, date needed was kind of to prioritize what gets stuffed first. So I actually went like dress and accessories, then housing, then transportation and events, and then gifts and beauty, and then food and drinks. That's how I ordered things. So that is kind of the budget for my friend's wedding. But I will say that I did already pay for some of these things already. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just go over everything. That's the wrong button. But hopefully um, everything is okay. Um, I basically had to reset up my screen sharing. But now we get to go over what I have spent so far. So for dress and accessories right now, I would say everything has been purchased. So my dress was 105. Sorry, I will not have units right now. So my dress was 105. We got it from Azazi. And then the tailor was $50. So the cost for my dress and accessories was 155. And as you can see, the difference was 95. And I have $95 uh, left from that category. Also, I would like to say that in the budget per person, you can see that here, um, gift is $50 per person. So this is how much, sorry, this is actually how much I'm going to be saving for my friend's wedding. 1,400 instead of 1,000 450. Okay, so now jumping back into expenses. My transportation, my flight has already been purchased. And I think I explained this in another video. But basically what happened is I got one ticket um, uh, from points and I got one ticket uh, full price. So that full price, I took it and I split it in half and that is how much that I paid. Okay, I had to fix the formula here um, just because it was reading wrong. And then another thing that I have fully paid is housing. This is still $200. And what is going on? I fixed it once again. <laughs> housing has been $200. Um, and that is the Airbnb. So I paid for that. And then everything else, I will make a video kind of updating how much everything was because I'm still, I'm pretty sure there are, I've spent some of the beauty appointment stuff, like I've gotten some makeup and some stuff for my nails, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more expenses. So I'm going to wait until after the wedding to kind of sit down and update how much I actually spent. So be on the lookout for that video. And that is the video for today. So, so far I've spent $571 of the budgeted $1,400 for my friend's wedding. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in my update. Bye.